It's all right. <laughs> okay, well, this is some close to home stuff. Um, not close. only is this on FetLife, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, is this story? Did you see the story on FetLife? It's not. The story's not on FetLife. The no, profiles are. Their profiles are. Their profiles yeah. are. Their company their has company. a FetLife account. Yes. Um, so these are some folks. Um, I am. I am not going to frame them as alleged gang members. I just. I don't enjoy that um, framing. I think that it's just a little bit. Um, I don't know. It just seems. Uh, uh, it's the reality, I guess. They, uh, maybe it's were... the reality. Maybe it is. Um, well, the way the government's trying to frame it is, mm -hmm. they were doing this to, as a to a criminal the, enterprise. Yeah, as a criminal enterprise, as part of the gang, which is totally untrue. It's too different. Yeah, yeah. it is. And so, anyways, um, this is a group that you will find on FetLife, but um, they promote in other ways as well. And they do gang bangs, um, which is something that you see in the lifestyle um, from time to time. And, you know, a gang bang is an event where, you know, uh, you will have one or more bottoms, usually women, who are um, engaging in sex with multiple partners at the same time, right? But these folks were arrested um, because... Their gangbangs um, involved uh, underage sex workers um, as well as um, adult. adult sex workers. And uh, I mean, so let's help should, me we out. Read, should we read some of the, the article to them? Yeah, read some of it. So uh, I've got a couple parts highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to talk about it. Yeah. So give a little bit. So Baltimore special agents from the Homeland Security Investigations, HSI Baltimore field of office, recently arrested several individuals suspected of running a sex trafficking enterprise. HSI Baltimore special agent in charge, James C. Harris, reported the arrest of Marlon Pitts, a.k.a. Callie, a resident of Capitol Heights, Maryland, on August 11th as well as the arrest of Maurice Moreau, a.k.a. Moezy, a, residence of Washington, a resident of Washington, D.C., and Ale Alexander Stephen, a.k.a. Kaz, a resident of Akakeek, Maryland, on September 7th. Harris reported the suspects were arrested and charged with the use of interstate facilities in the aid of racketeering enterprise for their involvement and control of the Triple X Party Kings. Triple X Party Kings, folks. Mm -hmm. A suspected Maryland-based sex trafficking enterprise. Pitts ha has additionally been charged with sex trafficking of a minor and transporting an individual to engage in prostitution. So before we get to the rest of the article here, <clears throat> yeah. let me explain how um, this, this, this article came across my desk. A, 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 another party host out there had sent this to me. Um, asked me if I knew the guys. I don't know who they are. And then, then, you know, she explained, you know, who they were and what was happening to them. Uh, and she explained how they, that they believe, everybody believes this situation came to fruition. So these guys were holding a gangbang. And during this gangbang, they had two minor underage girls there participating as gangbang girls. Um, which is a problem already. Which is that's a problem. Just, that's all the way. All the way just acknowledge problem. that. Um, and there were other adult female, yeah, which, you know, they, they had multiple, multiple women there. Um, however, either one or both, there was a fight broke out between two women. I, I, I don't got the information it was one or two. I know one of the minor girls was involved in this fight. Something started in the, in the hotel room. It was a hotel gangbang, the whole hotel gangbang. Um, the argument fight ensued out into the parking lot of the hotel um, or lobby or whatever, and some either guests or employees of the hotel called the police. Police show up and they, you know, figure out these girls are underage, um, which then probably leads to this investigation and to this this moment these these gentlemen find themselves in. So, shall we continue? Pitts and Monroe are both suspected of the uh, suspected members of the notorious Crip Street, G Crip Street Gang, and Stevens is a paraeducator in Prince George's County. 
that kind of tells you right there that what it is was para educator. Um, Nettie, explain that real quick. Uh, it's an adult that assists the classroom teacher. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> so that tells me that it wasn't you know these three guys involved in it. They Two of them just happened for, to be yeah they were crips <laughs> right. So or folks separated. suspected members like yeah. sometimes folks go around talking big talk right. Uh, no. Nah. They wouldn't call themselves Crips. No, nah, the, go the, the government's saving. pretty good at identifying because these, okay. these guys tell on themselves. Yeah, and I'm going to say, no one's going to walk around calling themselves something and then, yeah. And th there's, yeah. I'm not even going to get There's rules. <laughs> but no, but yeah, no. I, I just feel like what you're saying is that they're not doing this to fund the Crips. That's no, what we're saying. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is not, you know, this about is a, a Crip thing. Private enterprise. To, yeah. yeah. Um, so they go on to say, the trio allegedly used enterprise to promote, solicit, entice, coerce, and persuade adult and minor females to work for them as, a, as commercial sex workers. They allegedly recruited many of their victims through social media sites and through a network of previously recruited females. Again, they don't call fat life out. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, lawyers. but I... But I, we have, I mean, Discovery hasn't been released on Yeah, this that's yet. true. That's and true. I, the, I love the words that they use, right? Solicit entice, coerce, and persuade. They cover all the bases, don't they? Yeah, yeah. it's all of them. What the fuck? <clears throat> enterprise members and associates allegedly cooperated with one another to promote the commercial sex activities of the enterprise, primarily in and around Charles County, Maryland, Prince George's County, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Pitts, Moreau, and Stevens allegedly advertised commercial sex parties at houses, motels, and a studio. Allegedly, members of the enterprise acting as pimps encouraged adult minor females working for them to have sex with clients for money inside of VIP rooms and then required the females to provide a portion of the money earned to a member of the enterprise. For years, Pitts and Monroe and Stevens have allegedly been responsible for various crimes related to the sex trafficking of numerous females. So that's the gist of the article right yeah. there. <clears throat> And I mean, um, some of the stuff that's a little bit less meaningful, but I just want to briefly pull out when they talk about, um, scroll back up to the top where the first um, highlighted paragraph, uh, yes, charged with use of interstate, the Charged with the use of interstate facilities. I can't read that I'm now. Sorry, it got too small. It's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm messing up your groove. It's okay. Charged with the use of interstate facilities in the aid of racketeering of a racketeering enterprise. Okay, what the heck does it mean to use an interstate facility? That's they're not like highways. That's yeah, not that's a, like a so you're using a rest stop bathroom. <laughs> no, they're using the state so you're using yeah you're using the highways to go from state to different to go in between states. Which is hilarious that that is part of the law. It's like it oh well is, you use it, the road. Yeah, yeah, yes. You know? <laughs> but the same interstate facility applies to online as well. It's not, ah. it's not, it's isolated to anything outside of the border of where you, the ah. state you reside. And that's, oh, that's, that's important because that's one of the clarifications I wanted to make sure I understood. So this crime, it, it can be not just driving girls from one state to another, but it's also just advertising online across state. Across state, yeah. Which is kind of the way the internet works, but I guess that's. But in the commit, they say in the commission of a crime, right? In the commission of a crime, yeah. I have an angel on my shoulder, but a devil in my head. 